Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss two very important data sets which are prominently used in number of research papers and those are CIFAR 10 and CIFAR 100. So as you can see here on the screen that uh, CIFAR 10 and CIFAR 100 are labeled subsets of the 80 million tiny images data set and uh, they were collected by these three prominent researchers. So here you can see that uh, CIFAR 10, some also do pronounce it CIFAR 10. So if, whatever you like, you can pronounce like that. So it is a collection of 60,000 images, 32 by 32 color images in 10 different classes with 6,000 images per class. Okay, so here you can see that these are the classes and airplane, automobile, bird, cat, deer, dog, frog, horse, ship, truck. These are the different classes. And out of these 60,000, 50,000 are the training images and 10,000 are the test images. And again, after downloading the data set, it is up to you. It is up to your uh, kind of division, whatever you like. You can have your own kind of uh, division of uh, training and testing images, as well as you can create your own super class or the subclasses. So here are the 10 classes. Then you can go for the 20 or sort of. Okay. Then if you come down to some of the related other details, then some of the things are that all the classes are completely mutually exclusive. There is no overlap between the automobiles and the trucks. Okay, because many times uh, creating data set is a hectic task. And again, how do you create a data set? What sort of clarity and the clear division you maintain in your data set? That is very important. And that's why here you can see that they have explicitly given that all the classes are mutually exclusive. Okay, so in this way, the downloading links, if you are going for practical use, obviously you can go and have a download. Uh, the CIFAR 10, Python, MATLAB, and the binary versions are available with their MD5 sum also. Okay, then here, if you want to have the some baseline result related details, then you can go and have the kind of look into this particular detail. Additionally, the dataset layout related information with respect to Python and MATLAB are also provided down here. So here you can see that the data and the labeling related information are provided. So quite good maintenance of the dataset on this particular page is given here. Then the CIFAR 100 data set is also provided here. So if you are thinking that the number of classes are not sufficient, or in this way, you want to have the more number of classes in your particular experimentation, then why not to have uh, the more number of classes? So you don't need to create here. You can go for CIFAR 100 and here you get the 100 classes means it is more or less equal to CFR and also but uh, the only difference is that here they have maintained more number of classes so 100 classes containing 600 images each okay so again it is a total collection of 60,000 images and in CIFAR 10 also we had the 60,000 images just they have created more number of classes okay then the 500 training images and 100 testing image per class so in this way again as I told you that you can maintain your own data set then how many number of super classes or subclasses you want to maintain it is totally up to the researcher so you can have this sort of information again similar to CIFAR 10 they have given the download links with respect to the python matlab and binary version so you can go and have the kind of experimentation so thanks for watching this video and if you want to download this particular uh, data set then here this is the link so you can go it is the torrent university site so here you can go and have kind of download thanks for watching this video again and uh, where did i found this particular uh, link or the kind of information so with respect to every data set there are some of the related information in research community so if you are active in your research community you will have or find number of research papers or the kind of material related to a particular data set so whenever you are finding some sort of difficulty you can have the sort of look so uh, as per my research, I found number of papers related to CIFAR 10. It's quite popular data set. So some of the related papers uh, to this particular data set include the neural architecture search with reinforcement learning, progressive neural architecture search, mitigating bias in calibration error estimation, the tree ensemble layer differentiability meets conditional computation, etc. Multiple papers are uh, available and uh, I have just put it three or four. So you can go and have a look and then you can have a better idea that how you can use this particular data set. So thanks for watching the video again. And if you didn't like anything, please criticize. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.